You guys, we are getting ready to board one of Carnival's biggest and newest cruise ships. What ship are we getting on, RJ? Carnival Celebration. Carnival Celebration. You ready? My name is Kiki. I'm Ray. RJ. If you're new to this channel, we are Team Reef and Clips. We are so excited. It's our first time on a Carnival XL class ship. We getting ready to go to San Juan, Puerto Rico. We going to St. Thomas. We going to- Africa. Africa, Dominican Republic. It's about to be a great week. We getting ready to have a good time. We're going to show you all of it. Are you ready to go? Yeah. yeah. You ready to go? Can we get on the ship? Yeah. We got a 12 o'clock morning time. It's 12 on now. It's time to go. Let's go. Let's ride. your cruise terminal always make sure you already have your boarding pass and your passport out or your birth certificate whatever you choose to sail with A number we'll give you in the end of this vlog. <laughs> so just a few quick tips while we make our way to the gangway. First of all, drop your bags with the quarters. Anything that you don't need, take your medicines out. Take your boarding passes and, and passports and all that out. Drop everything else with the quarters, y'all. Tip them. Don't leave them hanging. Give them a little something. Take care of them. And don't try to get nothing on here that them dogs gonna catch because they had them dogs down there. I'm just trying to warn you. Also, go ahead and leave those boarding passes out because they check them like 700 times before you actually get on the ship. RJ, you about to step on board Carnival's biggest ship. What are you thinking right now? Super tiny. <laughs> what you yes. think? Yes, super small elevators. We just trying and to get some food. Yeah, it's hot on these elevators. Well, guess what that? Yeah, and that looks like poop. I think it's actually sausage though. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? Like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get some food. So normally, first stop for us is the mustard drill. Today, everybody is starving. We're going to get some food. <laughs> normally, I would ask if you're a guy's burger or a blue guana person, but there's so many other options on this ship. I think I'm trying to find something that's outside of the door. And Ray's first choice is this dumpling spot. Steam dream today. Char Siu pork dumplings. They look pretty good. I wonder what kind of what kind of sauce is that? Sweet tea? Oh, what is what is it? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Okay. Big chicken, so. Big chicken. 
good. Wait, hold on. Let me get the camera around. What'd you say? The chicken is actually really good. What did, what did you get? Get the big chicken? You recommend it? So RJ got the chicken strips and fries. And I got, they actually have grilled chicken. You don't see a lot of people talk about that in the vlogs, but they do have grilled chicken. I got this like slaw stuff on top and some pickles, but that is grilled chicken. These are the fries and the shack sauce. It's pretty good. Shack chicken sandwich with the bacon and crispy onions and everything. So that's half of it. I cut it in half, I couldn't just bite it. And then Kiki had the grilled chicken. Had. Keywords, had. I didn't know this, but you can actually tell them whether you prefer like white or dark meat. You can actually go up there and say they'll they'll give you white or dark meat for your chicken sandwich. Didn't know that. So we have been trying to get an elevator forever. Impossible. <laughs> we finally just took the stairs. We decided to make a pit stop at our room because the room's already. Then we'll head over to the Buster Station. Yes. So we are on starboard side, right? Deck 10. We have an odd number room. So, 10, 4, yeah, you're right. This way. 10, 4, 7. Oh, these hallways are wide. They're wider, they're wider than the elevators. You're right about that. <laughs> Our room is aft, so we are headed toward the back of the ship. Here we are, 10473. Hold on, I need somebody to hold this because this is, this is a rite of passage. Don't open it, don't open it. I didn't know. <laughs> hold on. What's wrong? Okay. Cuz, can you see me? Yeah. Can you see me? You don't think with me? When I open this envelope, for the first time ever, my card is gonna be gold. Oh my god, <laughs> girl! My card is gonna be gold when I. This is a rite of passage. I, I get a. Moment. I thought you were talking about letting RJ open it up for the first I get time. A moment. Oh yeah, you can. I like how they always put Master Raymel Reese Jr. Yeah. On for the kids. Make them feel all grown up. You gonna open it? Congratulations on your gold card, Key. Like that. Well, you didn't have to flex. So they were selling these lanyards and I got this one for myself because I thought it was pretty cool that this special one says Carnival Celebration and it says inaugural season on it and the inaugural the actual inaugural selling was a year ago today because today well no yeah yeah the week of thanksgiving was the inaugural season the inaugural selling so i still got something with the inaugural season on it plus it's a special language for my gold card we gotta go to the mustard station babe Camp Ocean is for, I don't know, we'll find out what we get. You can't get down to certain decks on the ends. So since we're at right now, you can't get down to deck four. We came to five, now we gotta walk the ship to midship. So we gotta walk down the floor, down fifth floor, to the midship area and then go down to deck four in order to get to the kids' club. So we're kind of in an open house period right now. RJ. Oh, this is nice, RJ. It's a lot of TVs.
I say we play Twister. Wanna play Twister? <laughs> so, if you decide to bring kids to the kids club, that's where we are right now, by the way. We are at Camp Ocean, which is the kids club for ages 9 to 11. Um, we Camp Ocean actually is for a bigger range than that, but we're part of the Sharks. That's 9 to 11. Kids club, do yourself a favor. Get your child registered for a kids camp before the cruise. Do it online while you're doing your whole check-in process. Have that ready to go. That way when you get on the ship, when you go do your muster station check-in, they will give your child a wristband. They'll have their wristband already. By the time you come to the kids club to actually check them in, they'll already have all those steps completed. They'll have their wristband already. All you have to do is, you know, decide if you want them to be able to check themselves in and out on their own, which they can do if they're over 10 years old. Um, we didn't want that, so we chose not to. <laughs> but that is an option. So the kids camp is here. There is, this is a pretty cool space. There's a twister game in here. There's a bunch of TV set up for a video game room. They have a list of activities that they do throughout the day. They have hours during the day, in the evening. They have hours on port days when we're at port. So if you wanted to and were comfortable to leave your child in the kids camp while you go and hang out at port, you could do that. Just lots of options. Don't think that you have to have your child with you 24 seven. Trust me, they want time with other kids just as bad as you want time with other adults. So take advantage of the kids club. It is included all the way up until 10 o'clock at night. At 10 o'clock at night, there is a fee uh, from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. where you do have to pay for them to be here. It's like a babysitting charge because it's late night. Um, but before 10 o'clock, it's free. Bring your kids, go enjoy some adult time, some alone time, some grown up time. <laughs> but that's it, that's the kids club. it for this video you guys make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video because we will be back with a full cabin tour video of this balcony cabin plus after that we're going to Rudy's Sea Grill and we don't want you to miss it because we want you to know all about our experience there plus we have some more awesome content coming on this carnival celebration series like we mentioned in the beginning, we went to some awesome port stops. Plus, we got some incredible sea day activities that we get into, too. You don't want to miss any of it. We'll see you next time. Until then, Team Reese, all day. <laughs>